Hey everyone. So our flight tonight is at midnight and thankfully it is uh, giving us extra time because uh, it turns out our mountain pass that we normally take to get to the airport is closed because of snow and people sliding on the road and crashing. So now we have to go the long way around um, on another mountain pass that is open, but it's gonna take us twice as long to get there. Four hours, four hours later. So the adventure, before the adventure is underway. Why does this happen to us every year? I don't know. <laughs> Let not your heart be troubled. We made it. We made it. We made it. Gotta get some food in us. pick up our rental car before we head down to San Ignacio for some outdoor fun. Hey everybody, got picked up uh, from the, the people at uh, Crystal uh, Car Rental. They came to our hotel and picked us up and they actually helped us get our tickets for the ferry shuttle to San Pedro. Got those ahead of time, which was super handy to get that out of the way. He said it can, the lines for the tickets can get crazy. So we got those, they're good for three months. So we don't have to worry about uh, time, picking a specific time, so that's handy. And now uh, on our way to San Ignacio, uh, do some hiking and exploring um, Mayan ruins and stuff like that, exciting.
in a pool in the jungle. Ooh, look at that sexy mama. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby, oh yeah, baby, suck it in. <laughs> <laughs> Homemade meal in Belize. Rice and beans. Rice and beans. The staple of Belize. The staple of Belize. We made it to Big Rock Falls here in the Mountain Pine Ridge National Reserve. We're gonna head down the trail and see if we can jump in some water maybe. One quick tip, make sure you bring sunscreen and bug spray. The bugs here are definitely there. <laughs> Got mosquito bit a whole bunch of times yesterday, so be sure to do that.
shoe is cold. My back hole has frozen over. Not that cold. It's not cold at all. What are you talking about? <laughs>
so this is why we didn't drive and instead we hiked in because part of the road looked like this absolute mess ruth's trying a new route yeah, yeah. Like that. that was too soft When a, I'm going to get you on video slipping and sliding all the way down on your butt. Uh, you <laughs> so we found Twin Cave off the side of the road on our way to Rio Frio Caves. There's this creepy sound coming from the forest. Cucho. Sounds like Cucho. It sounds like Good job. So I can feel my butt muscles. I'm really focusing and working it. Yeah. It's my biggest muscle. You know, make your butt even rounder. Oh, dude. I don't think you could handle it. Oh, I'll handle it.
we came here on our first trip together, uh, Rebecca and I, like 14 years ago, and just kind of fell in love with it. Belize was always kind of in the back of our minds. When we get older, we're gonna, we want to move there. And then, and then COVID hit, and we were like, well, what are we waiting for? Like, let's just go do it. And so, yeah, we came down here and decided to start the cabanas. And we were living in North Carolina at the time. Neither one of us really liked our jobs. And yeah, and just COVID, <laughs> being locked down and being tied up in your house and everything. We were like, yeah, let's just go somewhere that. in Texas and traveled uh, out west in the United States for like six months just and we stayed in a bunch of Airbnbs and we were like oh we could do that someday that'd be cool. What in particular Belize over all the other places you've been to? Uh, I think it was I mean it's kind of cliche but like the people. Let not your heart be troubled. So meet the chef. She's <laughs> the mama that makes this really yummy food. Everybody's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. People were just so nice and uh, it just, I don't know, you just kind of get a feeling places and I mean we've been pretty much the rest of Central America and it's all great, we love it, but yeah, it's, for some reason Belize is just like the one that really drew us and yeah, we just had stayed with a lot of nice people, you know, just met so many nice people, and yeah, it was just the simple, basic life that we kind of really wanted to yeah. be a part of. Mm-hmm. It landed on your head. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> or paint. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. We have certain species of butterfly and you can see every day we have hundreds of them emerging. We came from the other side. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we have the golden lung. It only takes six days for them to emerge. Six, six days. days, that is it. And every day we have to clean our paper bags and collect uh, all the old shells, the ones that have already emerged, and pin new ones. And here we have the Mexican blue. And here we have <laughs> and here we have the glass with the transparent butterfly. You can wow. see their chrysalis look like earrings. Mm. That's it so looks shiny. Pretty. Yes. And and the wings, yes. are alive, and you can see how they move. Oh wow! <laughs> They're active, and they make a different noise. They want to hear. <gasps> They're active. They like to move. Oh wow! Huh. <laughs> and we just um, pin them in the fiber flat here. It's more easy for us to pin them. Mm -hmm. Because they have like a hook on their head and that make them attach in the fiber. Interesting. And the Mexican blue wing and chrysalis will take five days to emerge. Five days, that's yes. so and fast. Here that's we have fast. the malachite, the green one, and it takes six days. Hmm. Those are, man, they're so beautiful. <laughs> and here we have the giant swallowtail, the toas. And you can see their chrysalis look Ruth. like a dry wood. Oh, it landed on my arm. <laughs> you yeah. can see different species have different size and color. Hmm. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Every day we have to make a gallon of Gatorade so we can feed all the butterflies. Gatorade, really? Wow. <laughs> it's a lot of Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Gatorades have a substance that makes them lose a lot of it. That's why we give them every day. And we also have the Greek crackers here. Oh, it's bananas. But right now the um, places that um, buy our chrysalis are food. Until January, they will open again and we will start to export more. Export more. You can see when they just emerge, they have a bright color. Mm. So those are just emerge. Yes, those are from the malachi. You can see some of them, they're hanging there. The abdomen, they are fat and that's how we can know that. So the, the fat ones are female? Yes. And they are, the male, they have like hormones, like a brown color. In the same, in the um, two sizes, and like that is how we know when they're male and female, hmm. because they look similar with the same color. You can see this one have it. You can see this one. It's not too big. Like it's not the as other. big, yeah. Mm. And they have like a hormones here and mm. brown ah, I got color, it. and like that we know when they're male and female. Mm -hmm. dates, so we can keep traps about the dates and in five days the eggs will start to hatch and here you can see how they are starting mm. you can see them here in the end of the leaf mm -hmm. this is from the orange one the um, golden language and every day we have to refill the bottle and add them fresh food so that they can start to feed on the plants and the first thing that they will eat when they just hatch from the egg, they will eat their shell. Hmm. And here you can see how they're growing. Oh yeah. They look like droplets of water. <laughs> yeah, it does. 
Oh, <laughs> they yep. also shed their skin for four times. Gosh, and they look also how big poop they are. A lot. Yeah. All that stuff on the bottom is their poop? Yes. Wow. <laughs> they poop a lot. Yeah, they do. Yes. Wow. And when they reach this size, we have to um, split them. Yeah, and keep getting bigger. They eat all the leaves and they, um, they don't have more food, they have to eat all the branches this time. Wow. Yes. <laughs> and for tomorrow, it will be a soft pupa. Mm, wow. You can see how big the, the pupa Huge. is. Huge. And they feed on the banana. <laughs> wow, those are big ones. They're yeah. sticky. Well, hello there. You buddy. can see their head and their tail here. And you can see when they turn the G stitch, they're ready to become a soft pupa, soft chrysalis. Mm. And you can see how they they look like, like they have just sprung mm. to a soft pupa. You can see when they're white, uh -huh. they change to a brown color. Oh, they change to and brown. And we use cups with um, kebab stick. Mm -hmm. And every day it's our job to be um, collecting the um, the brown ones mm -hmm. and putting them in cups because they're getting ready to become a pupa. Mm. How many do you uh, collect every day? Every day we collect more than 100 caterpillars. Oh my god. And we put them like this every day. We spend like two hours putting the pre ones in a single cup.
میگاه Get on out of here. It's starting to rain. And if we get stuck on those dirt roads, it won't be fun at all. Mm -hmm. 